A good Friday afternoon to everybody out there. It is Hunter Williams in the WVUA 23 Weather Center with a quick update on the forecast. I'm getting ready for the 6 o'clock newscast right now. And uh, currently, this is the view out from our Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. An absolutely gorgeous shot there. The sun starting to go down over the horizon. Current temperature, it is 58 degrees off a high of 63 earlier today in Tuscaloosa. I'll go ahead and tell you, though, the forecast for this weekend looks absolutely gorgeous. We're talking about plenty of sunshine, afternoon highs in the mid to upper. 60, so really looks like some great weather. And that includes the Iron Bowl forecast as well. Temperatures right now elsewhere across the state at 63 in Birmingham, 64 in Anniston, already down into the 50s across the northern tier of the viewing area. Haleyville at 58, Coleman at 55. You can see that northwesterly wind. And this evening will be relatively chilly. We're talking about overnight lows, generally down in the upper 30s here in the Tuscaloosa area. So pretty chilly, but even chillier as we head into tomorrow evening with temperatures likely below freezing by Sunday morning. Here's the satellite and radar. You can see a few clouds drifting through, but no rain to speak of, and that will generally be a trend as we head through the rest of this weekend. The next meaningful rain chances, though, those will come late in the day on Monday, really Monday night into Tuesday and Wednesday, and it looks like a really good uh, chance for some meaningful rain here across the state, which of course, you know, we really need it with the drought conditions that have really been plaguing the state for the past uh, couple of months, really, and I think we finally get a chance for uh, some more wet weather into our forecast as we head towards the work week. But we'll go ahead and jump into Futurecast. I'll take you towards 10 o'clock. A lot of people have evening plans. You can see temperatures around 48 for Birmingham, 51 in Tuscaloosa. No rain to talk about, a mostly clear sky, if anything, I think, uh, light jacket weather for this evening. As we head towards tomorrow morning, though, on the chilly side, maybe you're heading to the Iron Bowl, getting a head start on your tailgating plans. Light jacket's still probably a good call. 42 in Tuscaloosa, 40 for Birmingham. The weather during the afternoon, though, just looks absolutely gorgeous. By kickoff of the Iron Bowl, we're talking about temperatures in the lower 60s here in Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, in the upper 50s to near 60s, so just gorgeous weather. And during the game, temperatures generally in the lower to middle 60s here in Tuscaloosa, so the weather looks absolutely phenomenal. Notice, though, as the sun goes down, we quickly start to drop things back down around 50 in Tuscaloosa and Birmingham, already down to the 40s by 6 in Haleyville and Coleman and Jasper. And uh, when and tomorrow we will really see those temperatures start to plummet as we head into the evening hours by 7.30. This is Sunday morning, down close to the freezing mark, 33 in Tuscaloosa, 39 in Birmingham. So we will forecast those overnight lows down in the lower 30s. So heads up for some chilly weather in the forecast by Sunday morning. Here's what the drought monitor looks like right now, and you can see still exceptional drought for, well, much of our viewing area. But the good news, though, as we head into the beginning of the next work week, we're talking about Monday night into Tuesday and Wednesday, some really good rain chances, and I think we have a very good chance for some much needed rainfall here across the state with a very good shot of showers and storms. Your forecast for tonight though, 38 degrees for that overnight low, mostly clear and northwest wind, 3 to 5 miles per hour. Absolutely gorgeous for tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine out there, 64 for the afternoon high. The Iron Bowl forecast looks great. Your 7-day forecast from WVUA 23 News for Monday. The slight chance of a shower, that's late in the day, but increasing clouds throughout uh, the afternoon, around 72 for an afternoon high. Very good rain chances for two Tuesday and Wednesday with showers and storms likely. Watch these days very closely, though, for the potential for maybe a few storms that uh, get on the stronger side. So that's something we'll continue to watch over the next couple of days and, of course, keep you updated by Thursday. A partly sunny sky, 61 for the afternoon high. Friday looks like 62 for an afternoon high. Still plenty of sunshine. That's it for the forecast. I will continue to uh, get ready for the uh, 6 o'clock news, and I hope you can join me. Have a great day.